What's up, gang? Welcome back to another X Principle. My name is Michael, owner, head coach at the X. And what we're doing is teaching a series of the principles that we use to teach clients to build systems, to lose weight, and maintain it for the rest of their life without having to follow any sort of diets, rules, or restrictions. And today's principle is the more diets people try and fail, the more they start believing they're doomed to be overweight for life. The more they start They'll start believing that they cannot actually lose weight or they cannot stick to a diet and that they're just going to be stuck. And it's just about pattern recognition. The more we do a behavior, the more we get a similar outcome, the more we get entrenched into that habit and that belief in that cycle. So if we keep doing diets and we keep failing, we just believe that we are not capable of doing diets. We're less likely to try something new or if we do try it. We don't put a lot of effort into it. And it's just simple pattern recognition. It's just how we operate in every single thing that we do in life. Now, once you start to notice a pattern, this is how the brain works, this is how people work. When you start to notice a pattern or you create an association, your brain is very unlikely to forget it. Once you create an association, it's extremely hard to break. In fact, you start noticing it more and more and seeing it everywhere. So if I see this pattern of I try a diet, I lose weight for a little bit, I break the diet, I regain the weight back, I feel like crap, I'm going to start seeing that pattern, obviously, in everything that I do, but I'll start to see it in other people doing that same cycle, and we get stuck believing that it's there. But extend that further, uh, just as, a, as an example, people that might have a lucky lucky shirt, a lucky pair of socks for anything, they, they wore the socks, they had the positive outcome, and then they created this association in their brain. If I do this, I get this outcome. And they start to see it, and they start to feel it, and they start to rely on it. Just as a very simple example of creating an association or seeing a pattern. I wore this shirt today. I had a good workout. I wore the shirt. I looked good in the picture. I started to wear it, and so on and so forth, right? We start to see it. It gets very, very, very difficult to break. So what we have to do is start to pay attention to the factors that went into creating the outcome or creating the pattern, or is there really a pattern that we're seeing or did we build it and assume other factors that were relating to it? So I tried to diet, I failed, I regained the weight. I tried to diet, I failed, I regained the weight. We start to see a pattern. And when we start to see that pattern, we'll start to disregard the other factors that went into it. What was the diet? Was it right for me? What were the circumstances when I started it? Was it realistic to be a lifestyle? What were the circumstances when I broke it? What was going on there? What caused it initially? What caused the break? What things came after it? These are all very important factors. Now, that's too much for us to get into in this one individual video right here. But these are the types of things that we start to review with clients when we sit down to come up with a clear strategy of cause and effect, a clear strategy of the multiple factors that go into and influence these things so that we can start to break those patterns. If you sit in on a bunch of our check-ins, you'll start to notice that most of the times when we sit down and people have things going well or when people eventually struggle and break, it circles back to this pattern recognition and association thing that they revert back to a certain level of habit and a certain pattern that they've already created. And there's a belief that's associated with it that we have to actually restructure. We have to create new associations. We have to start identifying new patterns more than just breaking an old association and breaking an old pattern. It's about creating new associations and new patterns to start to see new progressions and, you know, being redundant, start to see new patterns and new courses. And then you start to pay attention to all the factors that actually go into it. So I don't want to make this video too long. That's the simple principle of the day. Be aware of your ability to create associations, the ability of yourself to start seeing patterns everywhere and make sure you understand the validity of those patterns and the cause and effect of those patterns before you just adopt it as a lifestyle and as a belief. When you're able to recognize those things, you're able to make better decisions. That's a simple thing. If you want me to do a bigger course on this and one of our big Zoom calls coming up or big check-ins or make a long video, you let me know. Otherwise, do the work.